Hello. Happy this day. Wherever you are, if it's Halloween for you, happy holidays. If it's another holiday, happy holidays to that. If you're just feeling excited about your influences, that's a holiday. <laughs> um, today, I found myself influenced in a way where it shifted uh, a place in my, uh, I guess, my trajectory or my pace. Um, trolling through some type of uh, social media type things. Two things showed up. Actually, another thing was YouTube. I've been finding myself very often watching SNL um, clips, but I just watched the last uh, episode with Adele in it. And somehow she has got me just wanting to listen to her and I think my dog really enjoys it because she's behaving really sweetly and a little bit more cute. Um, maybe I'm just projecting that on her, but there could be worse things we're doing other than projecting cuteness on our dogs or our pets. <laughs> right, so, um, so in the art of, of Adele, we're gonna listen to her while we practice today. If you can't hear it right now, play it while you do this practice. Um, this is a half hour practice that's influenced by the other thing that I've been also um, driven towards, which is a uh, beautiful booty. <laughs> um, I think we're always, as yoga teachers, just kind of bringing in the enlightenment and trying to draw us into the unity. And I think this is, there's no better way than use something that's relevant and current. So um, play with beautiful music and play with beautiful bodies. Um, and one of my greatest goals is actually to catch up with um, my, uh, my goal glutes that I've always uh, projected onto myself and then sort of examined. Is that it? But maybe I'm okay with this. So just working with the strength that we're building in it and the strength is actually what feels beautiful. It's not always sort of what it actually, what it looks like afterwards, immediately, maybe later. Um, but I think that we're drawing all towards this divine place of really just loving the self or the shape it's in and, um, and what it can do. You can wake up, you can walk down the street uh, or get down the street way we can, right? So, mentally, physically. Here we are. Let's take a namaste to that. Hands together at your heart. That's where we're connecting. Bow gently to that space. Let's do this. Uh, if you followed the last two episodes of Mikey Yoga, <laughs> this week we hit the shoulders. We went for abs, core. Next. Booty, right? Let's go glutes. Come to your mats and go to down dog, please. Whoa. Okay, wherever you are in your day, this is fine. And I know you always think, oh, I'm sure we're gonna do lots of chair pose, but oh, ye of little faith. There's many more things to do. Come to the front of your mat if you're not already. Let your feet be a little wider than your hips so you have space. You are going to sit back, but you're going to fold into the place between your knees. All right, so you might be a little stiff and that's okay. Let your hands touch the floor. Lean into the arms, forward through the heart, and lengthen the legs. Bend the knees again, right? Go for that deep squat, but now you're going to sweep the hands behind your heels so that you can shift your weight back. Right, right foot forward left foot forward, and arms up to the sky. Okay, on your exhale, slide back. So you're going sort of down to your back, elbows on the floor, and we're gonna go for a little fish pose. Immediately right out of the bag, we're going into a place where this is mostly a place we might use as a recovery. Uh, it's also a great place to warm up. All right, so there's a nice press of the elbows, a little bit of a lift of the chin so you're more at the back of the head, not entirely supported by the head, but mostly really feeling free across the heart. All right, so you very mindfully bring yourself back to the floor. All right, you tuck your chin to come back to the curve of your neck. Arms up to the sky so you can reach, and then the head comes off the floor further to tuck the chin, All right? So you're starting to tuck your anterior front body, those abs from yesterday, down towards the pelvis and up sky. 
Okay, bend your knees, bring your knees in towards your shoulders. My feet are light, so we're just kind of playing with a little kind of C curve cannonball. It's wide though, I have my knees widening into my arms. Feet to the floor. Okay, arms to your sides, but fingers point towards the back. We're gonna go three times, go up on the inhale. Exhale, just tap the floor with your butt. Okay, inhale, lift, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, tap the floor with your butt. One more time, inhale, squeeze the glutes, but stay here and take three breaths. Inhale and keep squeezing the glutes, and exhale and keep squeezing the glutes. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale, one more inhale, and on the exhale, hips down. All right, you'll have to bring your hands a little bit farther forward. I like to go on fingertips so you can press the floor away and come off of your butt. Okay, you're going to lean into your toes so that you can reach your hands forward again, lengthen the legs the shoulders over the wrists. Okay, bend the knees, sit back, widen the knees, drop the hips, and lift the arms. Okay, inhale up to stand. You're going to turn first to the right, keep your right hip forward, but your right shoulder back. Inhale through center, arms up, eyes up maybe. And your exhale, bend the elbows, left shoulder back, left hip forward. All right, inhale to center. Exhale, turning to the right. So this is a lot of sort of scapular shoulder back down to glutes, hips stay square. Inhale, to center. Exhale, over the left shoulder. Notice how your eyes want to follow the shoulder and that's completely natural, so allow it. Inhale up. Exhale one more time, over right shoulder. Inhale up. Exhale, left shoulder. And inhale up. Just exhale, sit, chair pose. All right, so this is gonna be a little shift to the right foot, left knee comes, left foot comes off the floor, left knee goes to the floor, then right knee goes to the floor. Left foot goes to the floor, pressing the floor, right foot comes off the floor. So I like to do this a couple more times so that you can feel the slowness, so that you can feel the feels that come with working the work. And just kind of noticing, right? Allow your energy to shift to the right leg, left foot off the floor. Okay, let your exhale bring you slowly down like a toe to knee, and then right knee. Okay, I'm shifting to my right knee so I can lift my left foot to the floor. Shift into your left leg, right leg is light, foot to the floor. Take this to stand, squeeze up to the sky. So you'll notice starting to bring in kind of the hamstrings to glutes, to core, to shoulders, right? So nothing gets left behind on reach. And then fold. We're gonna do that one more time so you get a little feel for both sides. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, sit to that deep chair. Okay, shift to the right, left foot off the floor. Left foot, left knee. Right foot, right knee. Left knee, left foot. Right knee, right foot. All the way up to stand, reach to the sky, and then we'll take a forward back. Okie dokie. Here we go, we're going well. Inhale, flat back. All right, on your exhale, let your fingertips touch left foot, step back. Okay, this is going to have a little shift, so we're going to notice. I don't think I like this song. Alexa, skip. We can. <laughs> right, so we're going to lean your weight forward into your right leg, foot. But you're basically keeping the same angle in that knee. Now I'm crossing my left leg over to the right so I can see it. Hello, foot. Bring it back around. Center it. Pull the knee up. Up with me. Standing. And then this is different. We're going back to the knees. So we're going lower, lower with that right leg into the left foot to knee, right? Knee, right foot. Hinge back. You're gonna notice this goes thighs and glutes, okay? It's pretty strong. Inhale up. We go left foot, right foot, up to stand. Reach, exhale, fold. Yay. Inhale to a flat back. Your exhale, knees bend. 
fingers touch. Right foot steps back. First, it's a low lunge. Right, and so we get to that place where we've been cultivating, we've been working, we've been figuring out and understanding more and more about how to balance, how to be in asymmetry, and still feel at our level. Um, this is that what we've, we've created, right? This lunge. So now we're going to take that and then sort of allow it to be kind of that meta feeling of balancing beyond balance, right? Lean into that left foot, right foot is light, still strong left leg. Sweep that right leg over. Mine's going under my couch, <laughs> way over. I can see my toes. That's nice. Come back through center. Right knee tucks up to come up with me. So you're going to feel a lot of the load occurring in that standing leg. Okay? Arms are where you're balanced. Left leg is lowering you to get that right knee to the floor. Okay? Left knee to the floor. Ooh, hinging. Big belly in, oh, come up, yay. Maybe eyes up so you can enjoy a little bit of that back bend. Okay, tuck it in. Right foot, boom. Left foot, boom. Come all the way up, reach. There's another little back bend. If you want to squeeze those glutes to reach up with the fingers, fold. Here we go. Left foot off the floor. Left foot steps back. Here's your low lunge. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit different. We're gonna go right leg back. Here's your three-legged dog. And then you're gonna bend that knee. We're going three-legged scorpion plank, right? So you're coming forward, right foot towards the back of the head, and then tuck your right knee in towards your face. Okay? On your inhale, look forward, place your foot. Shift your weight into the right leg, lift your left leg, so there's a hover. Now you're sweeping right leg, left leg way over to the right, maybe even a little further. Tap the floor, then bend the knee, and then touch your knee to the right of your right ankle. Right, pick it back up, sweep it back to center, pull it up to stand, arms up. Awesome. Your right leg lowers you to the left knee to the floor. Okay. Right knee to the floor, and then you're going to hinge back. Okay, right here on your hinge back, sweep back, right hand, touch the floor behind you. Now your hips are going to forward, squeeze your butt, and left arm is going back. If you come out of that, you let the hips go back. You come back through your hinge, and you come back up to stand. With that little back bend, comes from the glutes, so squeeze them tight, strong, open arc. <sighs> Exhale back to middle. Okay, we go left foot, right foot, okay. inhale to stand, and then exhale to fold. Mm. Okay, so I hope this is working out for you. Right foot off the floor, and step it back, low lunge. Okay, left leg goes back, three-legged dog, plank, I mean, sorry, square, and then scorpion plank. Right, chin lifts. So you get a nice, soft melt of the heart. Lift that left knee. Tuck it. Mm. And place it. Okie dokie. Lean into the left foot. Right leg is light. Everything is working. All three hamstrings, all the quads, all the shin, all the calves. Right foot swoops over. Tap the floor. Bend the knee. Let it tap the outside of that left ankle or heel. Pressing that left leg, come back through center, tuck the knee. Okay, bring the knee up with you. Hello from the inside. <laughs> right left leg is going to lower you down. Right knee lands right where you need it to be. Center of gravity will tell you that. Okay, left knee goes there. Sink back, hinge. So I'm leaning back to press into the top of the feet, but my glutes are pressing my thighs forward still. Right left hand back. Hips go more forward with the right arm, reach back. Yeah. Okay. All right, the hips go back so you can get back into that hinge. And then lift. Open chest. Okay. Come back through the middle. Now we're going right foot, left foot. There's your chair. Up to stand. We're doing good. Arms are up, I'm touching the ceiling. <laughs> <Good>. <sighs>
so there we are. Glutes get a immediate warming. So if you're a, a person that likes to uh, lift some weights in the gym or target these areas, you can slow this down, which will sort of target that area more and just kind of bring in more intensity. So if you repeat this slower. Um, you can also do this just before you do your heavy squats and deadlifts at the gym. Okay? Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. Right, arms are up. Okay? We're going to go take that twist here. We're going to go left elbow to right knee, right arm is back. Legs are staying the same evenly in chair. Right? Inhale to center. Exhale, right elbow, left knee, left arm back. Push down into the knee, you lift back to that left hand. Awesome. Inhale back to the middle. And then up to stand. Whee! Exhale, fold. Super. So we're just adding and adding and adding on. Left foot off the floor. Step it to low lunge. Take a moment here. First, straighten that right leg, fold into it. And then on your next exhale, bend that right knee, lengthen it. Let the left knee drop towards the floor so the chest lifts. And that way you can push off this one and everything presses back to that three-legged dog and forward to that scorpion. Okay? Tuck the knee, place the foot, lift the left, sweep it to the right, and then challenge yourself if you can reach back and grab the calf to reach it more forward out in front of you. So it's to the right of that left, that right ankle, but lift it. You might touch the floor, right? You can bend the knee. The knee does touch the floor to the outside of that right heel. Then you pick it up, almost like you're doing a standing split, to tuck it in, right? So come up through a flamingo and up to stand. Left knee's lifting, yay. Left knee goes to the floor and right knee goes to the floor, okay? Sink into your hinge pose, right foot, right hand back. You can even go to the foot. You can go farther back on the mat. It's whatever space is available, right? Hips forward, pull the belly in, squeeze the shoulders together. I'm reaching my left top arm over to my right. So you're doing the same thing, right? So it's not square and to the left, but that wouldn't be wrong either. Right, hips drop a little bit so you can hinge. Whew. When you get to this lift, right here, when you get to this kind of lifted, reaching uh, cow pose, squeeze the glutes so you can explore the spine. Okay, back off. Left knee comes up so the foot goes to the floor. Right knee comes up, right foot to the floor. A little hip dot, dip, arms reach up to the sky, reach. And fold. Hey, we did that good. We did that well. Okay, inhale to the flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. Okay, here we go. Take your exhale, right elbow, left knee, left arm back. Inhale, center chair. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, right arm back. I'm turning my palm open. If you think of the other day, if you took that little tutorial on shoulder rotation, this is outer rotation. Palm to the right. Inhale to center. Okay, very gently fold over the legs. Okay, knees bend as you look forward, right foot off the floor. Step it back. Here's your low lunge. And then straighten that left leg. Here's your fold. It's a pyramid pose to a little baby Ustrasana or Anjaneyasana, really heart forward knee down and then as you come up everything goes up back to three-legged plank and it continues forward just kind of flowing into this really beautiful scorpion shape maybe that's our sort of our goal the apex is this pretty little back bend Whew. exhale left foot steps between your hands right so you're in that left leg now you're really in the left leg right leg lifts watch out for your furniture as you sweep over to the left you sweep it around, and maybe you're holding back of the calf, maybe the heel, maybe the toe, maybe nothing, right? So you're mostly just standing on the left foot, using the right hand to balance. You might not even use that right hand, okay? Right, so egress though, bend the knee and do touch the floor. 
So you can recenter and calibrate safely into the left leg. And then unwind that, just a simple standing split with a tuck. So use those abs. All right, tuck through your flamingo. Whee, up to stand, yay. Okay, this is still working. Right knee to the floor, and then left knee to the floor. Okay, pinch it, lean. Okay, feeling those toes, left hand towards the back, right arm reaching. Take a couple breaths here, and just explore feeling and owning and loving that back body, everything that's behind you, the past and your present, right? We'll call it the boots of today, right? <laughs> the now, spooky now, right? Hips dip back, so you get back into the hinge. Oy, oy, oy. Heart goes up, yay, reach. Awesome, back out of that, here we go. Right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. Awesome, take that up to stand, reach up to the sky. Phew, and then take this to a forward bow. So a forward bow is kind of your best bet for a remedy to tight back, tight glutes, tight hamstrings, but in, in, in variation always, because we're all individuals and authentic and our own. So know that whatever amount of knee bend that you need in this, to feel like you're offering yourself some freedom, some ease, some peace, some sensational love, right? Make all the room that you need for that, right? Right, if we force it, right, we're definitely gonna be hard receivers, right? Because it's gonna hurt. So we make it easier to accept and be open to love, and then we can really enjoy what has what comes in that invitation, right? So if we force ourselves or block ourselves from it, then um, definitely something to think about. <laughs> All right, we're in a forward bow. We're finishing the last set for our booty 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 work, right? Inhale all the way up. Phew. Last two sides, sit to chair. Okay, we're gonna take a twist, left elbow, right knee, right arm up. Let's let the right arm go way up, and then the right arm way forward. So give you a little bit of that shoulder threading. Right, right arm goes way back, so you can wind that back into your regular chair. Sit a little deeper. Okay, and your exhale, right elbow outside, left knee, left palm open to the left. You sweep it forward, look forward. Left hips back, sweep that left arm back, and it totally takes a circle around to get you into chair. Okay, take a nice forward bow. The legs are thoroughly warm now. The hamstrings are not unrelated or could be even separated from the idea of what the glutes are doing, right? So. Work on one, you get the other, right? So it's a package deal. <laughs> all right, all right, inhale to a flat back. Phew. Exhale again, sit to chair. So this is our last round, so it's gonna be a little grand finale. Come to stand, left knee lifts. Take this to warrior three. Okay, this is gonna have three warrior threes. So you're gonna exhale, lower down, touch the floor. Inhale, come back up, warrior three. All right, that's number two. Exhale, down, and then inhale, up. Awesome. Exhale it down. You're in low lunge to pyramid pose. Right leg straightens. Okay. This is your low Anjaneyasana. Heart forward, left knee to the floor. And then your next exhale back. Here's your three-legged dog. Let's go open hip so you can feel that glute. Right? Then square it off as you align to your scorpion plank. Right knee tucks, right? Clear up that low back if the scorpion is kind of giving you grief in the low back, right? Right foot to the floor behind, in front of you. Lean forward so the left leg can lift. Shift it over. If your right hand could grab any part of that left leg, do. And shift your weight to hold into that right thigh. And feel the breath nice and light and brave. Feel the toes spread wide. Left arm <laughs> may go up the floor, right? It's a big wobbly one, right? We all have a sort of a super size side. Um, my left side is better than the right, so we'll see what happens. That might have been yours. You're in standing split now, so you unwind that. Cool. 
So we skipped the knee tap to the floor for a reason. All right, so we're relying less on the floor and feeling ourselves the light and the lift. All right, you're up to a lifted stand with that left knee up. So we came up from Flamingo. And then you're bringing it down. Left knee. Right knee. Okay. We're going to hinge back. Right hand back. Left arm back. And you're actually going to take it back. Left arm. Right? The hips are going forward. And you're going to sweep it a little more over towards your right. Okay. Towards the back again. And then all the way back. So now you've just leveled out the heart and the hips. Press into the feet. And you come up. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> Left foot to the floor. Right to the floor. Sit to your deep malas in the chair. Okay, so you're sitting so that you can stay close to the thighs and straighten through the legs. You're doing a good job. All right, last side. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, sit to chair. Here we go. Right elbow, left knee, left arm back. All right, sweep it forward, look forward. Sweep it back and go full round to bring you into your chair. This exhale, left elbow, right knee, right arm back, up to the sky and forward, and then back to the back, down to the ground, to your center. Okie dokie. Inhale to stand, right foot off the floor, right knee lifts. Here we go, first warrior three. Whee! With a nice breezy exhale to low lunge. A nice bright inhale. Warrior three, exhale to a low lunge. Last one, inhale it up, warrior three, exhale it down, low lunge to a pyramid, left leg straight, chin tuck. Oh, just like a movie, baby. <laughs> right knee touch the floor, chest lifts, right? My hands are just brief. They're just touching the floor in the lightest way. Your left knee, I know that said this a million times, but you might be new to hearing it, right? Is your left knee stays relative to the left heel, right? Not past the toes, not even past the midfoot. Whee! Back to three-legged dog. And I'm going to try more to speak of the what do we do rather than what don't we do, because that can be confusing, right? We're in an open hip three-legged dog. Square it so you come forward to lift the chin to your scorpion plank. Okay, then tuck. Oh, left foot lands. Nice shift to lift the right leg. Sweep that right leg over behind to the left, over to the left, then out to the front, and you're holding to the toe or the heel, and maybe your right arm is reaching, okay? So it might be reaching forward or to the sky. <laughs> There's a little wobbliness, and that's cute and fun. Okay, your right hand is a, is a safeguard to keeping you from kind of entirely biffing. <laughs> Unravel that to your sweet standing split, which is a lot of the glutes, so not unrelated, right? Knee tucks in, so you come up through your flamingo to stand. Last time returning to the floor this way, right knee, left knee. There you are, hinging, best hinge. Left arm back, right arm reach. Okay, let your right arm now reach over to your left so you get a little side bend. Hips are dipping back a little bit. Okay, and then when they kick back up, that's when we go into a reaching Ustrasana, which is level, right? Shoulders are level, hips are even, knees are even. And then that right arm and the feet pressing down, whew, bring you up to stand. You might be a little dizzy right here which is fine. Okay, right foot, left foot, there's your chair. Stay close to the chair and fold into those straight legs. So you just completed a power charge into your hamstrings, up into your glutes, and then everything beyond, right? So the sky's the limit, not even that, right? So we don't even know the borders of the universe. They keep expanding. So. So it will be, so it shall be for all of us. Okay, inhale to a flat back. And your exhale 
Knees bend so that you can sit way back. Your right arm's gonna go back, hands to the floor. Left hand's going to the floor, and now your hands are behind you again. Walk them back a little bit. So give yourself the room. Three more of these little sort of booty thrusts. So get that glute, chin up. Inhaling up, exhaling, roll, tap. Inhale up, exhale down. This is nice for the shoulders too. And then one more time, inhale up and hold it there. Hold the glutes, so keep breathing. All right, on your exhale, this is the first inhale. And exhale, keep the hips rising, exhaling. Inhaling, and exhaling. Chin is lifting so you don't have to hold that heavy head. Right, one more inhale, and on the exhale, chin tucks, hips come down, legs, feet go light, right? little, little flopsy feet until you go back to inspiring your toes, and the arms are forward until they're weightless, right? Still against gravity though. Take this to low boat, and then all the way down. One more time, elbows to the floor, pressing the floor, lift the chin, fish pose. Nice strong back. You can feel the strong back. You can feel the hamstrings touch the floor. You're long over the tops of the thighs. You press down to the elbows so you can tuck your chin lightly to land in the shoulders on the back. Flex off. Arms reach over the head. There's a nice reach. You might tuck your knees. Hold your shins. Alexa, off. Sometimes she doesn't listen. And then you come up, legs to the floor for good measure, arms up to reach forward. Here's your Paschimottanasana, good finish, strong finish, everything's included. And then we're up, right up into staff pose. Come to a cross-legged position or whatever is secure for you to close your eyes in your safe place. Allow your palms to face up and place your right hand in your left hand. Your eyes are closed just for a moment so you can take a moment and in all the glee and energy for all what inspires you who are influenced by what we see. When you take the information in, take what's positive, right? Take what you what you see as as something that inspires you to move forward for yourself, not for lack, but for more, right? For the things and the places that sort of knock on the door of your creativity to release you from whatever shackles are unnecessarily holding you down. Let your hands come together at your heart. Bow to all that energy and power. Namaste. So sweet. Thanks for coming, right? All good things come to those who wait. And I feel like the waiting was long enough and we arrived and here we are. So thanks for coming. See you again soon. Uh, be safe. Talk soon. Stay cute. Bye-bye.